What's good, y'all? This is your boy Black G92. Now, for today, I'm going to do a reaction to the latest song made by Mises, which came out yesterday, titled Hollywood. And I'm going to see what this song slash music video is looking like in about three, two, one. And before I get started, I'd like to read this. It looks like he posted a message. It's like, please pause and read before watching this video. Thank you in advance. Uh oh. Yes, and he's prepared for all, any sort of backlash from people that probably going to take the song out of context. Because I could have been Lil Nas X, he could have too. Hmm. Nas ain't the problem. He's the product. The problem. Hmm. Okay, he's taking some shots at Hollywood. Okay. Talking about how, I guess he's going in on how, okay. Hollywood is a care who, who, it, who it destroys and the devil does introduce himself with a pitchfork in hand. Comes off. Damn, he's, damn, this is the gospel right here. How to break other drugs. How to break other drugs. Drugs are the devil. Dead or chill. He's going to have to be top of the line for the devil. He must be so afraid of him. Mm. I don't know who's praying for Lil Nas X, but I do not want this video. I will be light and powerless. Overpowers darkness and love defeats hate. Facts, facts. Hey, by all means, do so for not Lil Nas X, but he's so he doing he doing this in the music video. Okay, well, I guess so. I guess suppose at the same time that takes the tears of the day, you lift them up in prayer. Yeah, that part true. So please, before hitting play on this video, if you're truly grateful for those who prayed for you, take a minute of your day and pray for Lil Nas X. Actually, pray all of Hollywood. Oh, for oh, so before I hit the play on this video, well. It's, before I get, before I do all that now, when you're done, drop an amen in the comments and tag on Nas X so you know how many people are praying for him. I think it's time to stay and remind the devil just how tiny his little program is compared to the kingdom of God. Love y'all so much, family. That's including you, Mataro. Well, since it does mention about prayers and such, I'm going to go ahead and do so in respects. Amen. All right, let's get to the music video. Man, very deep message. Got me all questioning life and shit. And hell, I haven't seen. Man, before it even get started, man. God damn. Got me already thinking. Like, reading that whole message. I ain't even seen the music video. I'm, he already got me questioning shit already. My apologies. Excuse my French. But, I mean. <laughs> I mean, like, question life and such. I mean, damn, that's very, that's, that's a very powerful message. It's, it's cool that he wants to give his, condone, give, want to give his prayers to Lil Nas X and such. I mean, I guarantee you that music video just got folks really just worried and such. So, yeah, I don't blame him. But let's go ahead and get, get back to it. And Hollywood is crooked, for sure. It definitely has a lot of this evil things going on in there based on, I mean, all the things you done heard from the news and such, and you know, we're and also different movements and everything. So let's get to it. The whole idea of celebrity and fame has become really convoluted and you know, kind of bastardized. Like, whereas fame used to be the byproduct of success, and now it's the ultimate goal. goal. Fuck Hollywood. Fuck Hollywood. So I guess, I guess it does. He shot his music video when he's out, out in California, and because I, I remember seeing him making posts. Seeing some Instagram like stories, seeing an Instagram story of him walking through LA and Hollywood and such. So I guess it's just all the footage he just shot over there. Well, whatever, the best of. Byproduct of success, and now it's the ultimate goal. Oh, fuck Hollywood, fuck Hollywood. Say sad your songs, I probably should. Life being all bad, maybe life be all good. It's like all these actors in Hollywood. So fuck Hollywood. nice though it look, looks very beautiful and i can also point out like all the rain all the different colors of the fist right the race fist in there and race fist painted on there it's okay interesting but of course shows how 
you know, somewhat diluted like the fist has become, but cool visuals, by the way. Let me do my thing. Don't need no lights, camera, action, or fame. I said, hop in the rain. She said, I am the range. But my, I ain't <laughs> stopping. I got my own lane. So fuck Hollywood, cause I probably would. Slap a rapper like a pin from the hood. Cause I don't kiss ass, just ass. I'm not that dope. Just facts in his raps. Yes, sir, I am the truth. So Let fuck Hollywood. That's a very poem line, poem bar right there. It's like say shoot for the star, they shoot star for speaking the truth. I mean, if you look at all the famous people that done pass away, and I like how he showed off like the nip nip hustle hoodie, whatever. Because nip was speaking before what happened to him, like and then his in his death ended in his death, like in his own neighborhood, by the way. Like dude was kicking facts, straight facts about being fi financially literate and just doing and also it was like building up his community that he was born and raised in, you know what I mean? <laughs> And I mean, unfortunately, it stopped. Didn't stop him from dying, and that's just, that's just very sad, man. And plus, not not just Nip, but oh, there's a host of other people that uh, got caught up in unfortunate events that were just before their demise. They were just speaking this truth, like outside the music as such. You know, what I mean, it's showing that their brand wasn't just a brand; it was like a piece of their lot, their hearts put into art. You know what I mean, so <laughs> I went to hold. Till they die, I'm so set full of bars. Sky is the limit, surrounded by stars. Fuck Hollywood, fuck Hollywood. Say sell your souls, I probably should. Life being on bad, maybe life be on good. It's like all these actors in Hollywood. So fuck Hollywood, fuck Hollywood. They say sell your souls, I probably should. scripted he's just straight like real with it for sure for sure like that's when you say he ain't think twice meaning like if you said something wrong he ain't gonna think twice for it make taking taking action on it i mean that's that's a very cool that's very ill bar right there for sure and shit i like how he how he just like my life my life ain't scripted and so and, so. and, I, and I also like how he just like i also yeah, i have to say he also got a, gr a good very good voice singing voice i would that i expect this from me sis. i thought he gonna come in just busting like he normally do but he over here singing throughout the whole song and and then with fuck Hollywood and still rhyming and like there's no slow up on his his ability lyrical ability at all. So you the prize cost your soul and your life. So fuck Hollywood, San Fernando possessed. But I'm good walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Keep that good book real close, cause this place filled with ghosts. Now I'm And I like to say that was a great shot of like the Hollywood sign after he got done spinning his verse and like going, going off in the sun, disappearing from the frame and showcasing the Hollywood sign in the hills, whatever. That was a pretty that was a pretty good shot right there, very excellent shot and. Again, the visuals are nice, showcasing the people on the corners and the different shops and the stores. Looks amazing, like for sure, and very beautiful. And like, but nonetheless, very, very awesome. Damn, I got. I'm gonna go ahead. Let me go ahead and get my words together. My thoughts together. The visuals, like, not only showcases like 
the beauty of all the buildings and such. Also, and more so, send a message that everything would ain't what it seems based on the lyrics of the song. Like, very clever, very good, very dope. right there man shit I mean like you better pray up or just fall prey to whatever the witnesses witnesses out there that's gonna throw you off your square and that was Mises Hollywood and I did not expect like th this type of like this this type of execution from him at all I don't expect him to come in with his usual shit like how I heard on his other songs like I did not know he had that single had it in him to kind of do that melodic shit and also still rap you know what I mean kind of it also made it accessible for people to kind of get the message without being hit over head with it. You know what I mean? And plus the beat, pretty nice. And whoever whoever's doing the beats, like, is doing a great job, like, as far as just complimenting his style. <laughs> Salute to the producer. And like I said before earlier, well, even before the song came out, even before the song came out, like, now nah, the song itself, man, got, got a great message. Just same, basically like self-explanatory he's saying fuck Hollywood of all the crookedness that's going on and going against what he believes in you know what I mean and I like how he played the interview whoever was who was speaking at the interview that was played at the end I also wanted to post it in the comment section below because this sounded rather interesting I might have to check it out like sometime like after I get done like post the name of that interview and who's speaking in there like in the comment section she was saying some, some stuff in there like about contract signing blood and freaking Talking about, and also speaking on things that does happen quite often, which folks compromise who they, who they are morally to get to the top. And I was like, that that statement caught my attention. I was like, oh, let me go ahead and see. We'll get see. I gotta see what the rest of the interview sound like. And it was a great way to kind of end off the song, like after the chorus. And do have some had some great had a few great had a lot of great bars on there. And this like speaking his truth. That's one thing you can't 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 take away from me he's speaking his truth and just putting his faith on front street and like how he, i like how that scene where he put had the bible and the dash and like at, and when that line mentioned how he had the bible and dash to protect him from all that's going on in the world and that's pretty dope to show, showcase that so that he's serious with it so he want me to react to more mises or like any other artists you can think of, post them in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. I got, still got two on the way, and I might do the NF Clouds remix probably on that Saturday before my live stream comes on. So stay tuned for that. And if it's your first time watching this reaction video, be sure to do the same thing in that order. And if you want to keep track of everything I have going on outside of the reaction stuff, be sure to post them in the description, but be sure to follow my social media accounts, which will be posted in the description box below and in the end credits. So then you won't miss a damn thing. So it's your boy, black G 92 about to sign off. Holla at your boy. Peace. Mm -hmm.